So we're here with JD, um, Chesham 2, Hamwell 2. Uh, great first half, totally in control. Could have been 3, 4, nil up. It was only the one at half time. And then it went a bit pear shaped in the second half. Thoughts on the game? Yeah, great job. We should be outside. The game should be over. We've scored, um, we've created three or four um, really good opportunities. Um, we have to take them. You know, that, that, that is it. I think if. Uh, no disrespect to Hamwell, but I think if the game goes, if it would have been two or three by half time, I don't think there's any complaints. It's, it's too many good opportunities, clear cut, and we haven't taken. Uh, but we did get one, we did get ourselves in front. I think then Brad's had, I mean, Rad's pulled off an absolute top save second half. Fair play to the goalkeeper from Brad. Keeps him in it, and then, um, then all of a sudden we find ourselves 2 1 down. Um, performance level second half one is good, maybe it's the first, but we sh the game should be over, should be outside. Yeah, so um, change the team today. So welcome back to Matt Ridley. How good's that Matt back? Yeah, very good. Uh, he done very well when he was here on his first leg spell. Um, he went back, he then got injured, so he's had his uh, rehab um, and he's got himself fit again. I think he's here to, you know, look after. He hasn't played much football. Um, I thought he played really well today. Um, obviously, he's tired towards the end of the game, but that's going to be natural because he hasn't played He hasn't played a lot. But yeah, he, he defended well and it's good to have him back. So, um, is that the... Uh, most encouraging thing you've taken from today's game? No, the most encouraging thing again is we've scored again. We keep scoring. Uh, we keep creating, creating chances in games, um, and we did. Uh, we've created numerous opportunities and we scored two goals. Um, so that is definitely the most encouraging from... And look, the, on general, like the, the actual performance, it's not a bad performance. Again, I, I think most games now, we have performed um, to a level where it could be better, but it hasn't been that bad. But... The problem we've got in a minute is um, we're conceding too many goals. So um, that that needs to be uh, rectified. We need to we need to address that. But uh, the, the the other one to that today is we should score more. If we score more, the game is over. Yeah. So uh, look, looking back and looking forward, it's a case of three points from six games isn't great. We've got to look forward and try and get those points. Um, but where do you see us doing next week? We have to concentrate on winning a football match, Giles, because at the minute we're not winning football matches. Um, so we have to concentrate on that. Um, so forget point tallies or who does what, who does this. We need to get back to it. I, I do believe that uh, we, we, we made some individual mistakes in games and that has cost us. Um, so I think we cut out the individual mistakes, which we did today, to be fair. There wasn't, I didn't come away from the game thinking, oh, that, that's a glaring mistake. Couldn't defend the goals best, of course, can. But, um, so that seems like we, we did that better today. Uh, but I think we've got to just forget about like point tallies and who's doing what. Let's just get a victory under our belts. And then I do believe that if we get one, I do think it will then snowball. So, um, yeah, saying we get, get some goals. Um, obviously, we lost Ferdy. Um, is that going to upset the uh, goal scoring opportunities? Yeah, I mean, uh, Ferdy was out when he was in a position, he wanted to play more. You know, he didn't play as many minutes and he wanted to play more football. Um, and we couldn't give, him to, give it to him at that time. Top player, absolutely brilliant lad. He was brilliant when he came into him, when he came into us, sorry. I think it maybe was a little bit of wrong timing with what the squad we had available. Um, and it just didn't work out in that period. Um, we, we were going to lose him, we wanted to keep him, but obviously he wanted to play for the remaining kind of eight or nine games. Um, so we wish him well. Um, and he was, like I say, he was, um, he was good for us when he played and he was a top lad. So well, I hope he does well. Uh, and any updates on Bess at all? Uh, still going through his rehab now. Um, he did a swelling around the ankle. Um, he still has got a bit of swelling around the ankle. Um, so um, he's still obviously doing his rehab. Um, so there's no kind of time scale on that one. Um, Tobias will be available next Saturday. He's obviously had his tough, uh, soft tissue injury. So he should be there next week. And Rory um, is taking a bit of a knock. So obviously Rory was out for a couple of games. I know he was there today on the bench, but it was more of a backup. Um, so Rory hopefully will be fully fit for next Saturday as well. So stronger and stronger, and uh, let's go on the box. Yep, let's go. Let's chat to you next week. Thanks a lot. Thank Cheers. you.